Hello everybody, in this video we are going to take a look at some of my old photographs and use Photoshop and generative fill to remove people. Alright, getting started with this image right here, it's Sammy Hagar, 2001, his club in Mexico. And what do I have? I have somebody's arm in the foreground, otherwise this would have been a great photo. So this has been sitting in a folder for years and years. I shot it with a Sony Mavica. And I am simply going to use my selection tool to outline this arm and hand here and uh, attempt to remove it. Generative fill needs a little bit of information around the subject you're trying to remove in order to fill in and create a new image. So I'm just staying outside of the arm here. Okay, now that the selection is made, I'm going to hit Generative Fill, leave that blank, and then hit Generate. And we'll give this a moment to process this image. Now that processing is complete, you can see one obvious issue and that's the print on his t-shirt. Of course that wasn't revealed. It says Mas Tequila and there's not really a good option that generative fill will give us and I don't see a point in trying to re reproduce it so I'm gonna remove the, uh, the sloppy print on his t-shirt and just keep it as is. So that'll be the next selection right here. After I gave generative fill some time to work, you can see it gave me a couple really good options for the, the t-shirt problem pretty happy with that so I'm going to commit to one and now I'm going to show you uh, the final before and after including my final edits okay on this next example might be a typical example where you are at a tourist attraction and you just want to remove the people the people you don't know, the people in the background, um, it's not their fault really, it's what you do at a tourist attraction. But just going to start all over with a simple selection. This is kind of detailed, there's going to be a lot of parts to this, so I'll be fast forwarding in a moment. In this first example, I make my selection, hit generative fill, and it gives me another version of the person that was there, which tells me that my selection wasn't perfect. Uh, didn't give it enough information outside of the subject to do it. So I'll, I will go back in and do that all over. Um, since I know I'm just going to put this on Instagram, the image will always be very small. So I'm not going to worry about too many details that you're going to see here in a moment where that fence is not quite right and, and things like that. And there's my second person who replaced it, so I'm going to replace them again with a second selection. Last few edits. Got rid of this guy. It's not really perfect. They added a boat, so that was weird. So I had to go in and find an option that was best. It gives you three options. 
And if you don't like any of those options, you can always uh, hit regenerate again and then see what you get the second time. All right, we'll get rid of her. Now I'm gonna show you my before and after. This one needed a lot of cleaning up. Uh, light, took away all the tourists. I lighten it up. You can see some other blemishes with the original image. And then after that, I ran it through Lightroom, made a few other edits. And I think my final looks pretty good. Okay, in this last example, I have another similar situation. Uh, a tourist site, people everywhere. Uh, I'm going to start with this guy right here. I'm going to show you how generative fill is not always perfect. You see my selection, I did not include that shadow. And I'm going to show you what it gave me. It gave me three options again. Problem is, it took that shadow and wanted to make it into something else. And the first one was there's this a dot there, so I scroll through and see what's there. They put a bird there, which I guess that's okay. It doesn't look like a real bird, and then they put part of a lizard for one of the options. So that is really odd. Does not look good at all. Um, so I'm going to do this selection all over. Get rid of that layer. And start my selection process over, starting right here. Now that we've successfully removed that guy, we're going to move on to the other groups of people here. It's kind of the same thing. Just select, select enough information around the subject so generative fill can have enough information used to fill in the gaps. I'm going to continue using that and then I will show you my before and after, including uh, Lightroom edits. And that includes, I just decided to make this rustic uh, watermill uh, into a, a black and white. 